Uh, hello everyone. Uh, today I'm uh, doing a demonstration of the capability of uh, Splunk uh, technology in handling security incidents. Uh, but before I do the demo, uh, I will talk first about the environment setup, the source of my data set, uh, the behavior of the simulator attack, uh, how uh, it detected the security uh, events, and do the correlation and then followed by an automatic response by the SIEM tool. So uh, for myself, because uh, my computer is not that powerful, uh, I can't run uh, multiple VMs. Uh, so, so everything is on the same uh, computer. It's uh, just a Windows 10 Home Edition, 64-bit, uh, Intel Celeron, uh, 1.4 GHz, 4 GB RAM, it's very low, low power. And uh, I downloaded the Sprung Enterprise and the Sprung Universal Forwarder. Uh, the Enterprise is, is the main main tool, and the Forwarder is, is uh, for sending out and receiving. Uh, it is for sending out uh, logs. And the source of my data set is including uh, the local Windows uh, security events. Uh, and uh, since since I've configured a universal forwarder, I can uh, send the logs back to the it myself. And uh, I will also configure a syslog uh, UDP port 514 uh, so that it can receive uh, logs from external uh, um, computer that doesn't use uh, Sprung Universal Forwarder, but maybe have their own kind of uh, uh, syslog. So uh, I will demonstrate three uh, attack scenario today. The first scenario is uh, um, we will detect that uh, there's this uh, local account uh, enumeration and someone is querying a blank password. The second scenario is uh, we will detect a spike in uh, running as another credential. So running as an another credential is normally quite okay. but uh, I there will be a problem if, if suddenly there is a spike in that. And uh, we also detect uh, uh, any new local admin account created that we did not know. Okay, and, and uh, we're going to talk about what kind of uh, trigger alerts we can do. Uh, we, can, we can trigger alerts by sending the logs to another Splunk receiver. Maybe that Splunk receiver is configured to send SMS. We can uh, run a script, you know, to do something about it. We can uh, send an email notification. We can even even do a webhook. That means uh, uh, posting uh, some uh, data over to, to a cloud service and then for that cloud service to do something or with a dashboard. Okay. Okay, uh, so uh, the, the first demo I'm doing now is uh, detecting uh, local account enumeration and uh, blank password. So as you can see, uh, uh, I've already done some uh, uh, simulator attack, you see. There's a script that uh, enumerate the local account. Then uh, later on, uh, it try to query the existence of a blank password. So in, in, in Sprung, uh, a simple one. Uh, we can we can say event code equal four seven nine seven, and we can do a search. And we notice that oh, there is one thousand events of attempt to query the existence of a blank password. Right. So this is not good, ah. Huh? Okay, but uh, just to let you know, every Windows system, they periodically uh, uh, do this kind of work, querying the existence of a blank password. So you need to differentiate between false positive and uh, positive positive. So next one, uh, I, I want to uh, describe uh, how uh, we detected a spike in uh, uh, system running as another credential. So uh, this is a quite a good tool. Uh, 
over here, let's say I, I put an event code 46484 uh, and then uh, I put a standard deviation, deviation of uh, 2 which means that uh, it's abnormal than normal by 2 times and then uh, I do a search so you can see that uh, there's a lot uh, 3000 3, events in one month that's because of the simulator attack uh. so, so you see a uh, lock on was attempted using an explicit credential uh, and then uh, you see you see that uh, uh, this event is generated when the process attempts to log on an account by explicitly specifying that account's credential. And um, the spike, there's 3,000 events in one month. So, so obviously it is not, not uh, very normal. Okay, so for the third uh, simulated attack is, uh, uh, I'm trying to detect uh, whether there's any new local admin created that I do not know. Okay, uh, so the good thing about Sprung is that you can actually write your own uh, uh, events, uh, your, your query. You see, you can, you can change, change the code. Uh, you know, you can change the code to 20 or 21 or, you know. And then uh, event 4720 uh, is to... Uh, um, I forgot, let me check. Yeah, event 4720 is when the user account was created, and event 4732 was when the account is added to a local group. And, and in this script, uh, it says that uh, 4720 is account, account is created, and then 4732 account created inside administrator's group. Okay, so let's uh, run this uh, search. Okay, uh, as you can see, uh, I found that uh, last year there was uh, some account that was created in the local administrator group. Uh, actually, this is, uh, this is the Amazon account that I created. Uh, so so uh, it does detect uh, when uh, a user account was created. A member was added to the uh, security enable group. The group name is administrator. Right. So all these uh, is uh, very good, but uh, it's not no good if uh, we can't uh, trigger an alert, right? So next one, I'm going to uh, demonstrate how to uh, create the trigger alerts. Okay, uh, so now uh, let's, for example, let's say I want to do a new search called event code equal 4797. And uh, I click search and uh, all this uh, result comes up. I know my search is working, but uh, I want to create an alert. So what I can do is uh, I can click on uh, over here, save as an alert. Okay, so, so uh, alert for event 4797 this is a simple one uh, but I'm trying to illustrate that uh, you can create more complicated search and uh, run a schedule job and uh, let it let it uh, alert you when, when uh, it's triggered so run uh, let's say every hour and uh, once or for each result you know and then uh what kind of action action you can log an event you know send to another uh run a script send email or do a web post so for over here i'll just add to the trigger alert which, which means that uh, it, it's just showing in the in the trigger sprung trigger alerts but it, it's not actually doing anything else okay and then uh what kind of severity so is this a high, medium, low? I will put uh, maybe low, you know, just uh, uh, not so uh, dangerous kind, you know, increase safe. Okay. 
Okay, then uh, yeah, I let's view alert. Okay, uh, your alert is uh, created already. So next time, it will uh, if something happens, it will trigger alerts over here, and the job will run uh, every one hour. Uh, okay. Uh, that's it for my uh, uh demo. Uh, please continue to the next person.